So I'm just showing you guys this viral flash hit effect inside of After Effects. I love this effect. I'm a massive fan and I think you can use it on every single music video that you edit. Let's hop right into it. So opened up in the timeline here, we have this clip from the Yeet Bell music video. Go ahead and play it through. So super, super fire. And if we go over to this comp here, you guys can see that I have the finalized version I showed you at the beginning. You can see immediately there's a ton more energy. I'm going to show you guys so you can make this for completely free. So let's pop back into the brand new comp here. So to get started, what you want to do is you want to right click over here, create new, and then create an adjustment layer here. Now there should be a couple effects that you need to get started. I already have it opened here. So let's go ahead and drag on Sapphire uh, Blur Directional. Go ahead and drag that onto the adjustment layer here. And then we also want to drag on uh, an effect called Transform right here. Drag and drop that on there. Then we also want to do a uh, flicker. So Sapphire underscore flicker. And then we also want to do Sapphire Warp Chroma, which is S under underscore warp and then uh, chroma right here. Once we have them all inside of here, I'm going to have them organized with flicker, transform, warp chroma, and then uh, sapphire directional blur. So what we want to do now is find out where we kind of want this to hit. I'm going to go ahead and turn these off. And let's say we want it to hit like on the middle finger right here, just like so. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and set our amplitude uh, just by clicking our keyframe here. And we're going to set this to one here. Then we're going to hit U on our keyboard, clicking on our layer, just like so. And you guys can see we have our keyframe here. Now what we want to do is we're going to go all the way to the side here, giving it a little bit of distance and we're then going to go ahead and click on the number for amplitude here and set it to zero. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on this side here. Go ahead and set it to zero. And you guys can see this is kind of creating like the base for the effect. And then you want to go ahead and turn it on, obviously. And you guys can see it really gets intense here and then goes back down to nothing towards the end. So we have our flicker amplitude there, just like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close flicker now and let's move on to transform. So for this one, what you want to do is essentially create a scale at the beginning at 100. We're then going to go to the middle and bring it into 150. And then we're going to go to the very end one again and bring that down to 100 and you can see how it looks with this i'm just going to hit u again and then u one more time so we can see these keyframes so super clean we get that little zoom in and zoom out there let's move on to the sapphire warp chroma now this one is going to be really really cool i think it adds a lot to it we're going to keyframe the warp amount at the beginning set a keyframe and we're going to bring that to zero and then we're going to go ahead into the middle here and once we're in the middle we're going to set it to 0.5 here and let's go ahead and turn this on and then we're going to go back to the end and bring it back back down to zero here and if i press uh, double u twice again you can see we have our new keyframes if you want to make it a little bit more intense you can also turn up this warp amount right here to get it to your desired look super clean and now the one effect that's going to tie everything together super nicely is going to be uh blur directional right here so for this one here we're going to be setting the blur amount at the very beginning to zero and then since there isn't really like a middle point in this, I'm going to hit U and then U again. Uh, we're going to go about here and we're going to set it to uh, 250. And then we're going to highlight this keyframe, press Command C to copy it or Window or Control C. And we're going to paste it here just so it lasts, you know, a lot longer here. And then we're going to go back down to zero so we can press Command C on this keyframe and paste it back over here. And we have something that looks like this. And then we'll go ahead and turn it on. And if you want to make this uh, less long, you can go ahead and do it like that. Now, I think that is a little long, so I'm going to go ahead and bring it in just like so here. And you actually want to bring these in a lot more. I'm going to bring them to about here and you get that way faster kind of hit. And now the sauce to make this a lot smoother is you're going to highlight all of them. Right click, go over to keyframe assistant and then just easy ease them. And you're going to get a lot smoother of transition. And that is the effect there, guys. If you're interested in getting 70 plus more effects just like this that you can drag and drop on your videos, you definitely have to check out my brand new pack, Viral Effects. If you guys look right here, you can see we have the Viral Effects pack. If you go ahead and open these up, you can see we have hits and shakes, looks and styles, new presets, roto background effects, and transitions. And if we open all these up, you guys can see the sheer amount of presets that we'll be giving you inside of this pack. Look how much sauce is inside of here. I'll show you guys how you can use it super, super easily. Go ahead and create an adjustment layer. And then all you have to do is drag on any of these effects here. So let's go ahead and drag on the flash transition, just like so. And this one is super, super similar to the one we just did. So all you have to do is drag and drop it on. This one's really fire as well. The frame shake, super, super tough. This invert flash is crazy as well. And this simple zoom out shake is so gas. I'm telling you guys, that's just four of them. You see how many are inside of here. Um, I really mess with the looks and styles as well here. I'll show you guys some of these. So we have like this comic texture that you can add on your videos um, super, super easily. Like a dreamy texture as well. There's this fire old TV look. Look how accurate that is. And you have this really cool paper effect as well. That kind of gives you like a 
paper texture style inside of here. So if you guys want to check this out, it'll be linked down below. You guys can use code 15 off to get yourself 15% off this pack. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video.